Hi, today we are going to look at our notes um, for pages 23 to 26 on solving multi-step equations. So that is actually our goal. How can I solve multi-step equations? Uh, this first page is huge. Like this is the page that you're going to want to reference often. Um, so let's make sure we get these in the correct blank. The first thing um, when you are solving multi-step equations is you want to distribute when necessary. So you're going to use the distributive property um, when necessary. And then you're going to combine like terms. And then you're going to collect the variables on one side. And then the constants on the other. And then once you've done that, then it's going to be a super fast, quick equation to solve. And so every equation that you solve, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this and post it on every single one of the pages of our notes um, because I want you to see these steps. Okay, so these are huge. Okay, let's do a couple guided practices. So it says fill in the missing blanks to solve the equations. We have 4x plus 14 plus 4x equals 38. So step one, it says to distribute. Well, you will not have to distribute unless you see parentheses in your equation. So we'll go to step two, combine like terms. So when we look down here, we look at the same side of the equation and you look for the terms that have the same variable ending. So we kind of worked on this a week or two ago. So 4x plus 4x, that's going to equal 8x. And so you would have 8x plus 14 on that side, and then you'd bring out down 38. Next thing you're going to do is you want to put your variables, so you go back in here, collect your variables on the same side. But when you look at this, all of your variables are already on the left. So then you want to be able to move your constants to the other side. So you're going to do the opposite of whatever it says. So since this says plus 14, you're going to subtract 14 from both sides. And so then you're left with 8x equals 38 minus 14 is 24. Um, so you just, whatever this says, you do the opposite. So since this says plus, you um, will subtract. Think back to when we did the money bags um, as equations. It's like I have 14 coins on the left, 38 on the right. How many do they have on both sides? 14, so you can delete 14 from both sides. That's what we're doing here. And then now it's like you have eight money bags equals 24 coins. So then when you go through and you separate or divide, then um, since this is eight times X, you divide, 24 divide by eight is three. Now let's look at this one down here. We have first, Distribute when necessary. So we do have parentheses on this one. So how you distribute is you're going to take the number that's on the outside of the parentheses and you're going to multiply it by everything that's on the inside. So you have negative 3, oops, negative 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then you still have your x, so that's negative 6x. And then negative 3 times negative 3 makes it a positive 9. And then on, you have plus 10x equals 33. Once you have distributed, now you're going to combine your like terms. So to combine the like terms, you're looking for things that have the same variable ending that are on the same side of the equation. So here's 10x and negative 6x. So if I have a negative 6x plus 10x, think about if it's negative 6 degrees outside, add 10, that means it will be 4 degrees outside. And then you have your plus 9 um, because that didn't have any like terms. Now you have your terms, or you've combined like terms. Now you can start to get collect the variables on the same side. Well, this one only has variables on the left, so that one's done. And then it says collect constants on the other side. So we are going to move these 9 coins, or this plus 9, to the other side. So you will do that by subtracting. So when you take 9 minus 9, it all goes away. 33 minus 9 equals 
24. And then so what this would be like is you have four money bags and 24 coins. So four times X, the opposite of times, divide. So 24 divided by four is six. So now I want you to try um, the ones that are on page 25 um, and before you watch the next video. And in the next video, I will also go over those so you can see how you did. So it won't hurt you to try. See you in a minute.